Snow. He posted his location. And then he already had. A... Bro got a name. Then he got ops. He did, did, did. this. All after all the songs I just reacted to. First off, nigga, you what? You dropping your low? This was speed doing two hundred to your shit. No cap. Stuck in two, so I won't let up. Throw my shit up, I won't let up. Tell my eyes I got them hit up. I be getting nigga popping right now. I ain't stuck no next. What's the deal, gang? We back with another video. I hope y'all boys will keep y'all day positive. Bro requested this, you feel me? And I ain't gonna lie, for anybody requesting videos other than music, bro, it can do, bro, you can do that, bro. I just don't, I just don't react to music, bro. It's just, that's mostly what y'all request, so I'll be on it, you feel me? But anything y'all request, I'm tapping in. It can be anything, anything, bro. Compilations, I don't even know what to get into, but... It can be compilation, something, do something. You know what I'm saying? We gonna keep it going though, grind don't stop. Request, bro, don't, don't be low. You know what I'm saying? It can be interviews, anything, bro, no cap. And I kinda wanna start over on the intro. I feel like I messed up for some odd reason, but like, bro, no. Grind don't stop, we about to get into this video. Keep y'all day positive, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is the documentary of Fulio. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to this. I seen a 16 minute video one. I was gonna do that one, but bro specifically said this one. So you know what I'm saying? I'm on it. No cap, 30 minute. No, I ain't did a 30 minute reaction in. Boy, that's crazy. Let's let's get into this video though. These niggas dumb filthy, pull your gun now. You said you use it, nigga. Come kill me. I fucked this bitch out in Las Vegas by the Trump bill. Nigga, I drive SR Jeep, that's just the truck is. Lord, but he always had a huge target on his back. The ops tragically killed him while he was celebrating his birthday. And today we're breaking down the whole story. On June 23rd, 2024, the news broke that Julio had been shot and killed in Tampa, Florida. Just a few hours before it went down, Julio had been posting on IG about his birthday party. He was hosting an Airbnb. Julio was clearly having a great time and sadly tweeted, God, thank you for allowing me to see another year and to celebrate another birthday just hours before he died. Letting this ops know what city he was in was dangerous enough. I'm sorry about the part, look. I just don't get how niggas can be going crazy. They know they going crazy. When I say going crazy, I'm talking about killing shit, nigga. Drilling shit, doing evil shit. Like, they just be still trying to, like, also thank God. Ah, you know oh, bro, what God you thinking, though? Like, real talk, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, but Julio kept posting on social media throughout the night, giving away his exact location. At one point, he even admitted that he was drunk, even though he doesn't normally drink. Let Ops know. He posted his location. And then he already had. A... Bro got a name. Then he got Ops. He did, did, did. this. All, after all the songs I just reacted to, first off, nigga, you what? You dropping your low? Niggas was speak doing 200 to your shit, nigga. No cap. Even easy. Admitted that he was drunk, even though he doesn't normally drink. Let Ops know he was an even easier target. Apparently, the party was too crazy, though, and the police ended up shutting it down. Julio posted about getting kicked out of the Airbnb, and then another post, he thanked everyone for coming out and said that it was the best birthday ever. After the party got shut down, Julio and some other people pulled up to a Holiday Inn, and that's when everything went left. It's not clear exactly what happened, but somebody came through and started letting off shots. The cops claim that the shooters were aiming at two different cars, and four people ended up getting hit. Three of them were taken to the hospital without serious injuries, but Fulio was tragically pronounced dead at the scene, according to Fulio's lawyer. Bro, that's just like, bro, that's just like, y'all know when Youngie Ace, bro, when y'all see that shit on the news, bro, I'm telling you, bro, that's just how it was, bro. She was the only, but except Ace was the only one sent to the hospital, and the other three was dead. That shit was crazy. He was basically ambushed when he got to the Holiday Inn. TMZ posted footage from after the shooting, and you can see the car Fulio was sitting in when the ops pulled up and started letting off shots. Nobody knows who was behind the hit yet, but the cops think it was somebody from Jacksonville and not Tampa. Fulio had ops all over the place, but the war in Jacksonville has been going on for years, and his enemies out there have been trying to take him out for a long time. Now the Jacksonville police are working with the Tampa cops to solve the case, and even the FBI Cops don't know nothing. These niggas, you heard what these niggas said. They think they from. Nigga, get the fuck out, bro. You got no clue who did it, nigga. Get the fuck out. The whole shooting was allegedly caught on camera. 
and rumors say someone involved with the situation is already snitching. And if anyone gets picked up by the feds, there's a good chance they'll flip and tell them everything they know. It's not clear if there's a snitch on the inside or not, but fans are also saying that Julio might have been backdoored by someone he knew. People started going after a woman named Ms. Lee because she had posted about his birthday party on social media. But she hopped on IG to clear her name and said that Julio was the one who wanted her to share the post. Julio getting killed is already tragic, but the violence in Jacksonville might get crazier than ever. A radio host from Tampa said that his homies in Jacksonville are worried that it's gonna be like the Wild West out there now. Because of this murder that happened here in Tampa, it is about to be like wide open, okay, corral and, and Duval. And they're telling, you know, people who, if you got to Have niggas been dropping after this shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, let me know. Because it's been, it's been some time. I ain't gonna lie. Time for a lot. It's been some time. And then imagine trying to get, like, imagine you just on the on the side and trying to get blamed for that shit. A whole bunch of comments on social media. Like, that shit would be it. That's insane, bro. Kid that's wearing dark hoodies black you know hoodies and it's june or the shy you know or wearing like you know the black hat and you know beanies and, and everything else you know get your kids send them to grandma's house somewhere else get them out of the city because it's getting ready to be open season according to rumors julio's homies in six block bro that times out of ten bro the city been like that i ain't from there the city been like that it's not gonna bro them niggas good. Niggas gonna still drop. They shit gonna stop. You know what I'm saying? No cap. I'm not capping. Like, what? That make it seem like one nigga died gonna change everything. No, nigga. This shit still gonna... Niggas still gonna be done. It's still gonna increase no matter if the nigga died or not, bro. No cap. Y'all can't lie. Like, what? Back from took out a dude named Fizzle. Fizzle was allegedly affiliated with a set called 1200, which is where a lot of Julio's biggest ops are from. Report said that Fizzle wasn't really in the streets and was focused on raising his family, but that didn't stop him from allegedly getting caught in the middle of everything. Fizzle was in the parking lot of an apartment complex when someone shot and killed him. Nobody's been booked for the shooting, but the cops say that Fizzle was definitely targeted and rumors are flying that Six Block killed him to get back to Julio. And even if Fizzle wasn't active in the streets, he was out the way! They ain't trying to, they don't get back! It don't get back out the way. Hey, bro, it don't get it out the streets, I guess. I did, damn! What the fuck? We've been booked for the shooting, but the cops say that Fizzle was definitely targeted, and rumors are flying that Six Block killed him to get back to Julio. But even if Fizzle wasn't active in the streets, rumors say that he was related to one of the most savage shooters in Jacksonville, Lil Leaky. Leaky was one of Julio's main ops. And Fizzle was allegedly Leaky's older brother. Some people were trying to connect Six Block to the Fizzle murder because Julio's homie Kenny K allegedly. Oh, niggas get dropped. Rumors said that. Bro, niggas get dropped. Oh my god. Kenny used to be pretty heavy in the street, <laughs> but he ended up spending a few years behind bars on a manslaughter case. At first, he was facing life on a murder charge, but the charges were downgraded, and he ended up coming home after spending around five years on the inside. Kenny was that nigga tore all this shit. Murder, and some people were trying to tie him to the Fizzle murder. But reports say that Kenny just got picked up for violating his probation because he wasn't supposed to be around Fulio or other gang members. There are a lot of crazy rumors going around about Fulio's death right now. And some people were even accusing his girlfriend of setting him up. A couple of days after Fulio died, a video of a woman twerking went viral and people were saying it was Fulio's girlfriend. A lot of people thought it was weird for her to be out dancing like that. And that's when the rumors about her setting him up started. It turns out that it wasn't even Julio's girlfriend in the video. Damn. Though. Wasn't her boyfriend like that was bad enough. But then people started blaming her for him getting killed too. So Julio's girlfriend hopped on social media to squash the rumors and said that all she's been doing since the shooting is sitting in a room by herself and crying. A lot of fans were worried that Julio was posting about his birthday party and giving up the location to random people. Even though he wasn't in Jacksonville, everyone knew how big the target of his back was. Julio was supposed to be hosting another party at the club in Tampa the day after the Airbnb party, but unfortunately, he didn't get the chance. Julio might have been the most hated rapper in Florida history, and his ops started dissing him as soon as the news broke that he had been killed. A rapper who's tight with young and ace named Tay Shots hopped on IG to clown Julio. Spin the fans posted about the situation and quoted a tweet from King Bond where Bond said, Game over. We won, stupid ass. Yeah, I've been reacting to the nigga. Alright, y'all know. Damn. Them is us. Nigga shit breaking it down. Julio talks about how voodoo was a big deal in his family. My grandma do voodoo. He raps. My grandma do voodoo. Fuck it. I'm playing with that voodoo. 
Yeah. We just got the head of a goose. But after he died, yeah. him and Ace's homie, Queso, used it to diss him. Queso is locked up to fight two murder cases for allegedly killing Fulio's homie, Bibby, and another rapper named Lil Buck. Queso took a lot of shots at Fulio while he was alive. And after the news broke about the shooting, Queso hopped on IG and said he was smoking on Fulio because his voodoo couldn't save him. Then, one of Jaden Young's homies posted the hotel where Fulio was allegedly killed. Oh Jaden my Young was even in Florida, but he still had beef with Fulio after he linked up with Young and He was in it too? I ain't know. I, I, I got a couple songs I bet I ain't know he was in that shit too. Started dissing Fulio's dead homies. Jaden Youngin wasn't involved with Fulio and Ace's beef at all. But after he did Fulio's homies Bibby and Ace, Fulio clapped back on the track Crazy Story Part 6 and raps, Jada Youngin, you a fucking bitch. Ah! Then he got painted. Did he do that? Did that have something to do with it? With the fool? Oh my god! Heard you got a baby on the way because you riding Ace dip. Got your chain snatched in Gainesville. Bitch, you not legit. JD Youngin was tragically shot and killed back in 2022. And Fulio started dissing him as soon as the news broke. A lot of people thought Fulio was taking it too far. But he hopped on IG Live and said that Jay was treating him like an op and the other side would be doing the same thing. It's not clear if JD Youngin's homies had anything to do with Fulio's death, though. And most people are looking at Youngin Ace because of the track he drops right after Fulio died. On the same day that Fulio was killed, Young and Ace dropped the track Do It and Raps. Every car I'm in, these bitches tend it. Choppers and killers in it. Catch his ass and do his ass. You know he finished. Flip his ass and smoke his ass. We stand on business. All Let my do it. Get active, mm. jump in the car, we on the traffic. Mm. And bitches called the phone, said they got the low. I, I reacted to, to this too. I ain't sparing shit. It's on site if we into it. Ace didn't name drop Fulio on the track, but the video even has a clip where some dudes with masks shoot someone outside of a motel. Even though Ace and Fulio have been beefing for I ain't years, even, I, look, I ain't even pick up on that. See, I ain't even pick up on that in the video. I ain't gonna lie. And he had the Don Julio, dude, the Don Julio in the one video. That shit so crazy. Shots and dropped the track like that right after Fulio was killed. And a criminal lawyer named Bruce Rivers claims that the track could end up being used against Ace in court. He said, fellas got the law. I told them to do it. Now, if they can link Young and Ace to any kind of case related to this, this is coming into evidence. Ace wasn't oh. done yet, though. A few days later, he dropped an even crazier disc called Game Over, where he took more shots at Julio and rapped. Five in the morning, I got a call. What is this? <laughs> dead on the floor, dead on arrival, Mr. Six. I'm steady screaming out, fuck the law, and fuck the six. When I react to that, and I'm just not realizing not, they calling this nigga, I think that's fully your name. They call that nigga the six, the six man, or Mr. Six or some shit, or... Six some, you know what I'm saying? No okay. cap. Car and one of them dead. Three got hit. I told them niggas they don't want the war with this shit, and I told them niggas go and step hard around this bitch. <laughs> the first track could have been about anyone, but game over was a clear shot at Julio. The situation was already crazy, but then someone hacked Julio's IG account and commented on Young and Ace's post about game over. They dropped the trash can emoji under Ace's post, and Ace replied with, "You still fucking with me, dude? I love you forever." At first, it seemed like somebody had hacked Julio's IG, but then someone posted a promo he had recorded before he died. Rumors say that his family is still trying to use his name to get some money, but nobody knows who's actually running the account right now. The police already think that the shooters came from Jacksonville to take Julio out, and Ace dropping the track is definitely going to have the cops looking at him and his crew even closer. The sheriff of Jacksonville held a press conference and said that the cops know who's Bro, probably involved in the hit. The police chief in Tampa also had a press conference and said that they're already tracking down leads and are working with the ATF and FBI to catch the shooters. People get away with wild crimes like this when it's just local cops on the case. But it's a different game after the feds get involved. And the Tampa police chief guaranteed that they're going to be making arrests soon. After Fulio died, Charleston White hopped on IG and started clowning him. Man, that nigga works hard. He died. Shit, he hurt. Is your shit, nigga? Uh, <laughs> and goddamn it, uh, should nobody? He just keeping talking? it real though. Where that nigga lives and talk gangster? Uh, should nobody be sad what is happening to to Julio? We shouldn't be speaking on it though. Uh, one thing we lie. know about it, he didn't go to heaven. Julio had a lot of enemies. 
but he also had a lot of fans and supporters. Have you been getting scam texts like these? It was me. I said that probably means your date has been leaked. And I after the news broke about his death, his mom, Santrika, said that she's making a documentary to tell the real story about his life. Santrika said people were blaming her for Julio getting into crazy situations, but she tried to get him to stop dissing ops for years. She even revealed that she had been shot eight times at one point over his beef in Jacksonville. Santrika's also showed love to the artist who helped Julio out, though. She shouted out Zaytoven and Young Thug for Cosa and Julio when he was trying to get started in the rap game. And also said that Julio's team has a lot of unreleased music that they're going to be dropping soon. Rappers are usually a lot safer when they get out of their hometown. But Julio was so hated in Jackson. The dude's got shot eight times when she's still alive. Bro. Bill, that the ops would have followed him anywhere. Fans might know some of the details behind his come up. But to understand why Julio's ops were ready to crash out like that in front of a bunch of cameras in a busy area, you gotta know the full story behind the deadliest and most disrespectful rap beat in history. Julio's from an area in North That's Jacksonville crazy. called Six Block. Six Block is known for being one of the wildest places in the city, and Julio was already taking losses in the streets when he was just a kid. Julio's dad was a big time street dude called Rick the Roller. Julio didn't spend a lot of time with him growing up, but he still knew what his dad was getting into. According to Julio, like Rick, his name Rick the Ruler, like he ran his block like the whole 21st murder, like he ran that section, like that was his, that was his section. He from the north side too, but he from like another part of the north side where my dad ran his section, like he was a real big gangster. Like. But when Julio was around 12 years old, someone upped the strap and killed Rick the Ruler. Rick the Roller had put hands on someone, and Fulio said the other dude couldn't handle losing the fight. So after Fulio's dad beat him up, the dude came back with a gun and shot him to death. He had got in an altercation with somebody, he beat somebody up, right? And I guess after he beat the person up, the person couldn't take the ass with him, so they, they shot him, you know what I'm saying? They went and got a gun, came back and shot him. Losing his dad like that was tough, but Fulio's life was about to get way more violent. When he was 15, Julio took another loss when his homie Aaron was shot and killed. Julio and his homies already had one foot in the trenches, but Aaron dying is what really turned them up. And right after Aaron was killed, Julio almost lost his life too. Julio had gotten kicked out of his school in the ninth grade and had to go to an alternative school. Alternative schools are usually more rough anyway, but what made the situation even worse for Julio is that the new school was in op territory. On the first day Julio was going to the alternative school, someone from his op neighborhood got killed at a bus stop. Julio this nigga had op since he was a little, this shit crazy, bro. When I was that age, nigga, I was, bro, I was in the creed, bro. Going to school in the creed, I'm telling you, bro, I was out the way, nigga, what? Social media before school, and that's why people thought Julio had something to do with it. Julio had to fight some dudes over the situation when he got to school, but he had no idea what was about to happen after he went home that day. Some of the ops followed Fulio home on the bus after school. And after Fulio got off the bus and started walking with some homies, the ops caught up to him and started letting off shots. Fulio got hit in the leg and had to crawl away because his hip got knocked out of place by the bully. He made it to someone's yard while the shooters were still letting off shots. The lady whose house it was saw Fulio and he told her to call the police. But she just screamed at him to get out of her yard and he passed out and woke up with the cops and paramedics surrounding him. The cops thought Fulio had killed the dude at the bus stop that morning and started pressing him about the situation. But eventually, he proved that he didn't have anything to do with it. After he recovered from getting shot, Fulio tried to switch up how he was moving and actually get a job at the factory. Going legit didn't work out for him, he though. Tried to get a job it wasn't back. long before he had both feet back in the trenches. Fulio still wanted to find a way out of the streets, though. And that's when he hopped in the booth and started rapping. Back then, nobody was paying attention to the rap scene in Jacksonville. Julio was still running up pretty big numbers with his hair. Oh, damn. You seen his hair? That shit crazy. Did I take that back too much? Idea what was about to happen after he went home that day. Some of the ops followed Julio home on the bus after school. And after Julio got off the bus and started walking with some homies, crawled away because his hip got knocked out of place by the bully. He made it to someone's yard while the shooters were still letting off shots. The lady whose house it was saw Julio and he told her to call the police. But she just screamed at him to get out of her yard and he passed out and woke up with the cops and paramedics surrounding him. The cops thought Julio had killed the dude at the bus stop that morning and started pressing him about the situation. But eventually, he proved that he didn't have anything to do with it. After he recovered from getting shot, Julio tried to switch up how he was moving and actually get a job at the factory. 
Going legit didn't work out for him though, and it wasn't long before he had both feet back in the trenches. Julio still wanted to find a way out of the streets though, and that's when he hopped in the booth and started rapping. Back then, nobody was paying attention to the rap scene in Jacksonville. Julio was still running up pretty big numbers with his early tracks, but what really made him blow up is when he became the face of the most shocking war in rap history. While Julio was getting his name buzzing in the rap game, another rapper from Jacksonville named Young and Ace was doing the same thing. A city like Jacksonville had two hot rappers coming up at the same time. So from the look, these yeah. niggas was young type shit. Damn, I wouldn't even hit. Damn. What the outside didn't know is that Julio and Ace's beef had already been building up behind the scenes. Back in 2017, Julio's cousin Zion Brown was Just shot killed by a dude named DeAndre Thomas. Zion Brown was at home with his little sister Taria and nine-year-old cousin. They heard someone throw a brick through the window and called the cops, but the police weren't fast enough. Taria walked into the living room and saw DeAndre Thomas inside the house. He upped his strap and started letting off shots. Everybody in the house got hit. Luckily, Taria and Zion Brown's cousin survived. But Zion Brown was tragically killed. What Young the and Ace fuck? I was tight. God, just still. Hold on, go back. That nigga said, oh my God. Our rappers coming up at the same time was a big deal. But what people on the outside didn't know is that Julio and Ace's B had already been building up behind the scenes. Back in 2017, Julio's cousin Zion Brown was shot and killed His by cousin. a DeAndre Thomas. Zion Brown was at home with his little sister Taria and nine year old Dude, cousin. Break in there. They heard someone throw a brick through the window and called the cops, but the police weren't fast enough. Taria walked into the living room and saw DeAndre Thomas inside the house. He upped his strap and started letting off shots, and everybody in the house got hit. Luckily, Taria and Zion Brown's cousin survived, but Zion Brown was tragically killed. Damn, bro, what the fuck? Nigga walked in, bro. I'm about to go buy me a blink right now. Nigga walked in, brick, bro. What? Damn, bro. Young and Ace and That's Thomas crazy. Tight. They both got booked for allegedly robbing a weed dealer a year after Zion Brown was killed. And some people think Ace was involved with Zion getting killed. It's not clear where the beef really started, but what happened next is what turned Jacksonville into a war zone. Young and Ace went out to celebrate a birthday with his brother and two best friends. Ace said they usually move smart and didn't go out to eat in public. But that night, they slipped up and went to a steakhouse. When Ace and his crew left the spot, someone pulled up on him at a red light and started letting off shots. Ace got hit eight times and survived, but he had to watch his brother and two best friends die right in front of him. The beef was already bloody, but it was about to get even worse for Ace's side. That shit crazy. <laughs> That shit made me be like, I want to go buy a blick right now, you feel me? But at the same, I ain't even in no beef, you feel me? That, that shit not going to be in line with me, bro. God, you know what I'm saying? I'm too pure. Shit not going to happen to me, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to still have the biggest stick, you feel me, though, Cap? Just to have that bitch, though, no Cap. Ain't no bullshit going to happen to me, though. No Cap. Ace lost his brother and two homies. A rapper named Boss Goon was shot and killed after a show at a nightclub in Jacksonville. Boss Spoon was the older brother of Ace's homie K So, and he was heavy in the streets too. Boss Spoon had been booked on a murder charge a few years before. He skated on the case because the cops didn't have enough evidence, but then he ended up serving six years for a burglary. After he came home, Boss Spoon started making music and was trying to leave the streets alone, but he still got caught up in all the beef. After the show, everybody get caught up in this shit. And another brother named Crazy K. And while they were on the highway, three whips pulled up and started letting off shots. Nobody was ever booked for killing Bro, three of them bitches, dog? This is a fucking war. I ain't lying. This shit been like, bro, body's been dropping. This shit crazy. Bar room. But rumors say that six block was behind it. Ace's side took another loss, but then Boss Goon's brother, K So, got involved and took the violence to another level. K So is allegedly one of the biggest shooters in Jacksonville. He <laughs> represents Ace's ATK crew, but K So also rocks with NHG, aka No Hospital Gang. NHG is a set though. It's a click between the players. Wait, hold on. Who's K So? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whips pulled up and started letting off shots. Nobody was ever booked for killing Boss Boom, but rumors say that Six Block was behind it. Ace's side took another loss, 
But then Barcelona's brother, K So, got involved, took the violence to another level. Mm -hmm. K So is allegedly one of the biggest shooters in Jacksonville. He reps Ace's ATK crew, but K So also rocks with NHG, aka No Hospital Gang. NHG is the set though. It's a click between a bunch of crews like ATK, Flag Street, and bb 4 l If Julio and his crew were involved with Boscombe's murder, it turned out to be a huge mistake. K So already had a rep for being violent, and on the track Who I Smoke, Young and A shouted them out with raps. My killer make his face go. That's one thing about K So. No hospital gang, boy. You know that shit a case closed. Want him dead, bust his head. All I do is say go. After Boss Boom was killed, K So went sliding the six block territory with his homie, ATK Scotty. And that's when he allegedly killed Fulio's homie, Lil Bibby. According to reports, Bibby and his homie Pop Out were chilling outside of the apartment building in 6th block when K So and ATK Scotty That bitch, hold on, dude. Look at that blue. Hold on, bro. Let me see how that shit set up. Hold, what the fuck? Everybody dying in this bitch. Bro, what? Look how I set up. So and ATK Scotty pulled up and started shooting. Baby and Pop Out took off running in a different direction. That bitch a dev trap. Scotty chased Pop Out but couldn't catch up while Queso went after Baby. Queso allegedly shot Baby and made a fall. Hold on, missing shit. Up. Me and Pop Out took off running in different directions. When ATK Scotty pulled up and started shooting. Baby and Pop Out took off running in different directions. Scotty tried to chase Pop Out but couldn't catch up while Queso went after Baby. Queso allegedly shot Bibby and made him fall to the ground. Then Queso stood over Bibby and killed him. Queso eventually got hit with a murder charge for allegedly killing Bibby. But even before the cops caught up to him, everyone already thought he pulled the trigger. After Bibby died, Queso wore a Bibby jersey and clowned him on social media. Queso also put Bibby's face on one of his album In covers. The Uggs, the In the Uggs though. In the Uggs though, bro. In the... Did that to that nigga... Took the picture with the Uggs, though. Social media. K-So also put Bibby's face on one of his album covers, along with Zion Brown and a bunch of other people. Then K-So dropped the track, K-So Bitch, and raps. ATK don't do no drive-bys. He ain't going to the hospital. Dead flies. Who the fuck want to play with us? Fuck they dead guys. Bibby had a closed casket. I wasn't surprised. And I don't know why they'll call him Pop Out, because Mike gon' hide. Still smoking his dank. Can't open my eyes. Smoke six gon' die. Damn, die. bro. I got I ain't never heard this, so I gotta see what that's about. That shit is crazy. Somebody request that bitch so I don't forget. God damn. Somebody put comment down below. That shit crazy. They didn't comment this song down below, bro. I might forget, bro. Okay. Uh, that shit is this crazy. Game. You're not ready. Lil Baby was a big loss for Julio in six block. Some reports claim that Baby was actually Julio's blood brother. But even if they weren't really related, Baby was like family to Julio. Baby's death didn't just turn up the war between Julio and Ace though. It also caused a beef inside Six Block. A dude from Six Block named K Shorty was tied with Julio because they came up in the same hood. But K Shorty was even closer to Baby. They were around the same age, but K Shorty was allegedly a lot more active in the streets and got hit with four attempted murder charges when he was 16. K Shorty got off with just 18 months in juvie because the attempted murder charges got dropped. And that's when he decided to switch up while he was moving and started rapping. Fulio allegedly told K Shorty he helped him out in the rap game when he came home from juvie, but Bibby's death changed everything. K Shorty knew how dangerous it was to be around Fulio. He was already the most hated rapper in Jacksonville. K Shorty didn't want Bibby to hang out with Julio and get caught up in the drama. Unfortunately, Bibby didn't listen though and was spending a lot of time with Julio, which put a bigger target on his back. K Shorty blamed Julio for Bibby getting killed, and on the track, Who Really Killing? K Shorty just him over the situation and rapped. Had to realize niggas out here dying and the rest do a time while Julio chilling. Niggas stay lying about studio time. He didn't even drop a dime when a nigga was drilling. He was around the block when Bibby had died. He ain't getting no far, he just got in his feelings. Then Julio clapped back and this K Shorty for getting his girlfriend killed and rapped. And you got shot so many times. What are niggas to that thing? What are niggas go back and forth like that? I need to. Bro, somebody comment every song that's in this fucking video, bro. Please comment every song that's in this video, bro. 
I need to react to them. This shit is crazy. Darker practice. You got that little girl killed. Man, that shit tragic. You say I ran on Osama? I was nowhere near. How about left my little brother? Get that shit clear. Back in 2020, a girl named Anandi Weiss went on a date with Kate Shorty and dropped him off at his crib. But before she could get out of the area, two shooters ambushed them and started letting off shots. Damn, you can't eat this! Girl, you ain't had nothing to do with it. She caught him in that mix. Damn. Two shooters ambushed them and started letting off shots. The cops think the shooters were trying to clap back at Kate Shorty for another murder that went down a couple of days early, but they ended up killing an innocent girl instead of him. Kate Shorty allegedly clapped back and killed a dude named No Face in September 2021, but then he got sentenced to 12 years on the gun charge and is still facing the murder case too. The six block was a baby and having internal beef at the same time was tough. But a few months later, they allegedly clapped back and almost killed Queso and Ace at the same time. Ace was Ooh, the that who almost did that at the same time. Charge and is still facing the murder case too. Six block was a baby and having internal beef at the same time was tough. But a few months later, they allegedly clapped back and almost killed Queso and Ace at the same time. Ace was performing in Georgia and had Queso and some other ATK affiliates there with him. They played the show and went back to the hotel. And that's when the situation got deadly. While Ace and his crew were in the hotel parking lot, some shooters pulled up and started letting off shots. Queso and ATK Scotty were shooting back, but one of Ace's homies didn't make it out of the situation alive. Ace and Queso were definitely the main targets though, and Queso found the ops for not killing them when he dropped the track been dead and rapped, we gonna pull it back on your head and get you toe tagged. And I don't like to brag, but Don Dada got that K. Should have killed me in Waycross. They hopped out with the case. Me and Scotty busted back. We was on the same page. Damn! Scotty and Queso are both locked up for allegedly killing another dude named Lil Buck who did spot school. But before the cops caught up to them, they were putting all kinds of pressure on Julio. They treat this people. shit like GTA, bro. What the fuck, bro? Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, these nigga energy had to be bad when they came around people, bro. It's no way, bro. They normal life, nigga. She was just, I ain't gonna lie, no life, bro. What, bro? Them niggas did not had no calm, peaceful life, bro. Them niggas, what the fuck? Scotty allegedly even tried to kill an innocent woman just to help out ATK. A couple of years. What? Before the cops caught up to them, they were putting all kinds of pressure on Julio and Six Block. And Scotty allegedly even tried to kill an innocent woman just to help out ATK. A couple of years after Zion Brown was killed, DeAndre Thomas was about to go to trial, and Zion's sister Taria was going to testify against him. But right before the trial was about to start, someone caught Taria and shot her 14 times. This shit like a movie, bro! What the fuck? This shit is deep! Bro! Nigga, what? Hey, bro, what, bro? Nigga, what the fuck? Sister Taria was going to testify against him. But right before the trial was about to start, someone caught Taria and shot her 14 times. Luckily, she survived the situation. But it was clear that anyone going against ATK was put That's God, nigga. Back. She didn't Taria deserve it. That's the only innocent woman who almost died in the war, though. And even Julio's girlfriend got caught up in it. Back then, one of the biggest shooters on Ace's side was a dude named Lil Leaky. Leaky ripped a crew called 1200. And they're all tied with ATK. Leaky's brother, Lil Papa, actually used to be cool with Fulio, but something went down and sparked a beef between them too. Fulio had this Leaky Papa, so Leaky clapped back and allegedly almost killed Fulio's girlfriend, Bubin Baby. Bubin was driving Fulio's whip and went to the gas station with one of her friends. Driving Fulio's car was a huge mistake though, and someone started shooting at Bubin when she stopped at a red light. She got hit three times and ended up losing one of her fingers during the situation. Bubin probably wasn't the one they wanted to take out, but Ace's homie still distant. And on the track, I don't smoke Kendra, Ace's homie spent the fans raps. This nigga mama got shot and he's still tweaking. This nigga bitch got shot. Cool, I know she leaving. They shot that whole finger off. She couldn't even tweet it. Leaky was- Oh, what's been the best? What? Oh my God, oh, the Kendra is his girl name? Oh my God. They shot that whole finger off. She couldn't even tweet. Leaky was allegedly putting huge pressure on Fulio and Six Block. A month after he allegedly shot Fulio's girlfriend, rumors say that Leaky killed a dude from Six Block named 
Leaky wasn't finished yet though, and a month later, he allegedly caught another body. A rapper named Jump Out Squeeze had been dissing Leaky and his homies. Jump Out was trying to get into the rap game, but still didn't have a name in the industry. So he went to the Amazon warehouse in Jacksonville to apply for a job. He was standing in line outside the warehouse in broad daylight when two shooters jumped out of a car and left Jump Out Squeeze dead on the spot. Then in July 2020, Ace's crew allegedly caught Julio in Texas and almost killed him too. Julio was on the highway in Houston when someone pulled up and started shooting. Julio's whip got shot up like crazy. Bro, how right many shootings this nigga's been in, bro? How many shootings this nigga been in? Bro? This shit is crazy, bro. Niggas don't... I ain't gonna lie. After the first situation, nigga, I'm telling you, bro. I'd have been changing my life to God, bro. Even if I was on some bullshit, bro. I'm telling you, bro. This shit crazy. These niggas don't this learn. Crazy. And right after it went down, he hopped on IG and called the ops for not killing him. But at the same time, they beefing at the same time. It's not just chilling out, bro, nigga. You just gonna get a nigga getting killed, I guess. It's a board. That shit is crazy, bro. Yeah, he, that he shit is crazy. Is this is all people, nigga, bro. I'm gonna show him. Nobody was booked for almost killing Julio in Texas. But Ace's homie, Fast Money Goon, basically said that their side was behind it on the track Who I Smoke when he raps. I told the rocket when I traveled. I'm pistol packing in Houston. I was lurking on his page and caught him lacking in Houston. We let off shots, he got shot and went live. I was tweaking like, fuck man, that bitch ain't died. Julio made it out of Texas a lot, but Jacksonville was getting deadlier every day. Wait the fuck, so he, bro. Just in oh my God. It did I'll be zoned out, bro. What the fuck? Nobody was booked for almost killing He hopped on IG and called the ops for not killing him. Nobody was booked for almost killing Julio in Texas. But Ace's homie, Fast Money Goon, basically said that their side was behind it on the track Who I Smoke when he raps. I told the rocket when I traveled. I'm pistol packing in Houston. I was lurking on his page and caught him lacking in Houston. <laughs> we let off shots. He got shot and went live. I was tweaking like, fuck man, that bitch ain't died. Julio Damn. made it out of Texas but Jacksonville was getting deadlier every day. Leaky was allegedly on three hits just in he went to Texas. Let's he went to Texas dudes on Ace's side, but it all caught up to him when he was shot. Well, these in it. So niggas, it, it didn't went to niggas like niggas. They get, okay, they they making money as they go up because they did this songs that they making making them dog shit. Oh my god. A few months after a shooting spree, Leaky was sitting in the whip with spinning bands with some other homies at the intersection of Atlantic Boulevard and Monument Road. According to rumors, Leaky was driving the whip, but he was high on lean at the time. And that's how the ops got the drop on him. Another car pulled up and started letting off shots. And Leaky was pronounced dead at the hospital a few days later. He was one of Julio's biggest ops. And Julio started dissing him on tracks like All Gas when he rapped. Shot my car up twice, then hit my bitch. Now Leaky rest in peace. Then Julio named the track after Leaky and this him again rapping. 100k, he'll shake the room. Sweep his block, we don't need no broom. They asked me how high I am, I'm Leaky high, I'm to the moon. Losing Leaky was tough for Ace's side. He was putting in a lot of work against Six Block. And on the track alone, spin the fans raps. But feel shit real, this shit out here ain't for everybody. And I kill, kill, kill. I swear these niggas ain't caught nobody. And know it's leaky this and leaky that. But if leaky was here, we'll blow him down and they don't mention that. But leaky was the only shooter on Ace's side. And they responded by taking out two of Julio's homies back to back. A dude from Six Block. Say that nigga was really spinning. He said he was really spinning. He was stepping no shit. Huh? Oh shit. Still outside of the same apartments where Bibby died, but someone pulled through and killed him. Then the day after it happened, Julio's homie Rod K died in the same spot. The war in Jacksonville. Three niggas died in the same spot. Damn, damn, what the fuck? I wouldn't even chill right there. Like, nah, I wouldn't even like, damn. Dog got killed. Bro got killed right there. I can't even. I wouldn't even feel right. Like, what, bro? But people outside of the city had no idea how crazy it was. But that all changed when Young and Ace, Spin the Bands, Wapple with the Chopper, and Fast Money Goon dropped the track, Who I Smoke. Who I Smoke is one of the wildest diss tracks in the rap game. Ace and his homies sampled a happy pop song from the 2000s. I know that, but I'm into that bit. homies all over the track. The track blew up and started racking up millions of views. 
And that's when everyone started paying attention to what was going down in Jacksonville. Young and Ace was in the spotlight. Yeah, because this, I ain't gonna lie. As the yeah, this the this the this what this what did it? Yeah, this what got everybody interested in that shit for real. It had to be because like what? Attention to what was going down in Jacksonville. Young and Ace was in the spotlight after who I smoke dropped. But then Julio took the disrespect to another level when he clapped back with "When I see you." And Julio started off the track with a news report about the shooting where Ace and his homies died. Then Damn. Julio rapped, "Pussy boy, you don't get no rep off doing drive-bys." Ace from the West. How he picked up with the east side. He ain't been the same since he seen the other three die. Bitch, I'm two three high. And went out to eat on his birthday. Four shot, three dead in the worst way. He kept dissing on me. Now we smoking 23. After we react, died, I react to that bitch. Fans pointed out that he was dissing Ace's brother for getting killed on his birthday, only to end up having the same fate. That Plus, shit crazy. the police report said that in the Julio shooting, four people got shot, and he was the only one that died. Which is crazy because in the young and age shooting, it was the opposite. Four yeah. people got hit, and Ace was the only one who survived. Julio mm -hmm. kept the pressure up in the pool and started this everyone on Ace's side. He dropped the track Beatbox and this Boss Gloom with the bar. Rolling dead ops, he caught a headshot. Big Boss gone, we got him scared now. He was dissing in them songs, what he's saying now? AR with the 50 round, knock his shred off. Then Julio dissed a bunch of dead ops and raps. Prosper got shot, Tay got shot, Desi got dropped, Nate got popped, Leaky got shot, his fast face hot, Corbin got kidnapped, they found his bones, he was rotten. Damn! Leaky's homie who went missing out of nowhere. Some people thought he had left his city. Bro, the nigga, the Corbin nigga got kidnapped, bro, right? Ain't that's the nigga that motherfucking bro, bro. So they, they found his bones. Like they, what the fuck? They, what they do to him? What the fuck? Orbit Johnson. They did voodoo on that nigga. What the Corbin fuck, got bro? Kidnapped. They found his bones. He was rotten. Corbin Johnson was Leaky's homie who went missing out of nowhere. Some people thought he had left the city. But bro, what? Someone found his body in the woods, wrapped in a plastic bag. This is real life, nigga. What? But a year after he disappeared, someone found his body in the woods wrapped in a plastic bag. Corbett Johnson was allegedly trying to get a legit job and make it out in the streets. But the ops caught up to him first and Julio dissed him all the time. A lot of people thought Julio was taking the distance too far, but he let everyone know he didn't care when he dropped the track, List of Dead Ops. He joined taking it too far! He dropped two of the most savage strikes of all time. But List of Dead Ops put an even bigger target on Julio's back and almost got him killed. Julio started off the track by dissing a dude named Big Baby. Big Baby is the op who was killed on Julio's first day of school. And Julio rapped. Five got hit in the head, he tried to swim at the pool. Big Baby got caught in the morning at the bus, was going to school. In the Honest morning, bro. Remember that shit hit the news. This nigga, nigga. Niggas getting dropped, bro, at the... Oh, my God, nigga. What, nigga? I ain't had this type of life. This shit crazy, bro. What the bus fuck? was going to school. Juana died in the suburbs. Remember that shit hit the news. In the suburbs! Done. He should have had a tool. Julio dissed Corbin Johnson and a bunch of other ops, too. Then he took another shot at Ace and Raps. Can't forget 2-3, Juan, and Bo in the back seat. Hey, Ace only one survived. See, that nigga blessed if you ask me. If he's still trying to be, remember, you lost three. List of dead ops kept Julio in the spotlight, but it also turned the streets up even more and almost got him killed. One month after the track came out, Julio came out of the studio and was ambushed by two shooters. Julio ducked down in his car and started busting back. And somehow, he made it out of the situation. This nigga know stuff. what to do with them bitches. Nah, he used to miss it. He did it. If they do that voodoo, it's over. Hey, okay. I can't fuck with that nigga. his car and started busting back. He so he ducked. He made it out of the situation with just a leg shot, even though the ops dumped over 100 rounds at him. 
Julio didn't get into any crazy situations for a while. He was still dissing the other side all the time, but it seemed like he was moving smarter and keeping his head down. But then in October 2023, the Ops caught Julio again and shot him in the foot. His mom hopped on social media and asked Julio's fans to pray for him because the situation wasn't looking good. But luckily, he pulled through. Julio said that he had stopped at the gas station. Oh, this after the get back. Now this that get back drop on him. Fans wanted him to move smarter and stay safe. But unfortunately, that's not what happened. Bro, oh, come on, bro. What the fuck is you doing? This is kind of crazy, you guys. Me, bro. Anti-abortion extreme. The war in Jacksonville was so violent that nobody was ever gonna make peace. Both sides have lost too many people for that to happen, and that's why Julio's fans wanted him to keep his head down. Julio even told Say Chiefs TV, "Do you do you feel like you got money on your head?" Uh, you said that with that. You were running in the street, but. Yeah, something like that. I've heard you say that before. I've heard multiple people say that before publicly, I think. Yeah. I mean, is this like, is it a crazy figure? Uh, I heard that. I heard 51 time. I heard 81 time. And that interview happened. He told me he heard 51 time. His cousin, Jake Jett, was murdered around Jacksonville, too. Jake Jett was driving down the highway when someone pulled up and started shooting. Jake on the highway? The they see the nigga on the highway. They must have followed him or something, bro. They ain't just seen any nigga on the highway. Damn! Down the highway, when someone pulled up and started shooting, Jake tried to get away, but he ended up crashing into a semi-truck and was pronounced dead at the scene. A few months before Jake was killed and Julio got shot in the foot, they had posed in front of the grave of Ace's homie 2-3 and dissed him. Jake was affiliated with Six Block, but he also repped a set called Bully Gang who had major beef with no hospital gang. A few months before Jake died, one of his homies in Bully Gang was killed. And four days later, the op shot up the memorial service too. Nobody was booked for the shootings, but rumors say that no hospital gang were the ones who killed Jake's homie. No hospital gang allegedly took out Jake too. After he died, an NHG affiliate posted the photo of Julio and Jake in front of 2-3's grave and wrote, the biggest mistake anyone on earth could have did it's not clear and then they got the George on it. anything to do with the picture he posted with Jake Jett in front of 2-3's grave. But rumors say that the ops have been hunting him ever since that photo came out. Julio knew how dangerous the situation was, but unfortunately, he never really made it out of the trench. Even after he started racking up millions of views and had his face all over the news, Julio stayed in Florida where he was surrounded by ops. The war in Jacksonville had slowed down for a little while. But Fulio's death is probably about to spark a whole new wave of violence in the city, and there's no telling what's gonna happen next. I ain't gonna lie, that shit is crazy. And hey, y'all just seen when the fucking thing skipped, bro? Why somebody come and say that's motherfucker Fulio trying to tap in from the spiritual realm? That shit funny as hell, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that shit crazy, bro. Damn, bro. That shit, them niggas life like a fucking movie, bro. Like, nigga, you know some shit about to happen, so what the fuck? Why them niggas gonna stand out the way? All them niggas dropping, bro. Them niggas dropping like flies. Niggas, girls getting dropped? Innocent females? Oh my God, bro. This shit is crazy, bro. Make sure y'all boys tap in. That shit crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all can request interviews, anything, bro. This shit. That shit crazy, bro. Make sure y'all boys tap in. That's crazy, bro. I ain't got <laughs> Nigga lied to my face, now how could you? Oh. Fuck a lifetime, plus for crumbs, now why would you? Dude. Smelling like buying number nine, it's a nine in my hoodie. Seven hour drive, me and five smoking cookie. Yeah. 